everybody, my name is Eric Hopkins and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're finding me for the very first time, please click that like and subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get all the notifications about when I put up new content right here on this channel. So 2021 has kind of been the year of Zack Snyder. He's kind of been all over the place. He's been in the news when it comes to the Snyder Cut of Justice League that is now on HBO Max. And he's also had some success with the Army of the Dead film that is on Netflix. And speaking of Netflix, he has now announced his next project for the streaming service. So let's go over here and check out the article that comes to us from Variety. Uh, Zack Snyder to make sci-fi epic titled Rebel Moon for Netflix. Uh, he's going to space, apparently. Following the debut of his zombie thriller Army of the Dead at Netflix, Snyder has set his next feature film at the streamer, a sci-fi epic called Rebel Moon. Shay Hatton, Army of the Dead, and John Wick 3, and Kurt Johnstad of 300 and Atomic Blonde are co-writing the script with Zack Snyder, with Snyder and Johnstad receiving story credit. Snyder and his producing partner and wife Deborah Snyder will produce with Wesley Collar through their company The Stone Quarry, along with Eric Newman through his Grand Electric Banner. Sarah Bowen also with Grand Electric will executive produce. The film is a grand fantasy adventure centered around an, igni an igni bleh, enigmatic young woman <laughs> who is given the responsibility by a peaceful colony on the outskirts of the galaxy to find warriors who could fend off an impending invasion by the despotic Regent Balisarius. Snyder reportedly first developed the project as a pitch for the Star Wars universe that predated Disney's 2012 acquisition of Lucasfilm. He began refashioning it into an original property while working on Army of the Dead. The aim is to build out Rebel Moon as a franchise in the same way Snyder has already expanded Army of the Dead since it'll be getting a prequel film and an anime series. Snyder, Newman, and Netflix film chief Scott Stuber go way back. Newman produced Snyder's first feature, 2004's Dawn of the Dead, which was overseen by Stuber which he was vice chair of, when he was vice chair of Universal. Rebel Moon is the fruit of that relationship after Army of the Dead was, re, was viewed by 72 million households in its first four weeks, according to Netflix. Snyder plans to start production on Rebel Moon in early 2022. No actors have been attached. The Hollywood Reporter first reported this deal. So, yeah, it looks like Zack Snyder's kind of got himself a little bit of demand here. Um, I know a lot of people don't care for his work, kind of like Michael Bay. He kind of has this stigma about him to where it's like okay some of his storytelling isn't the greatest but he's a great visual director uh and of course you know I, I personally like some of his work i'm a big fan of 300 i like the dc stuff that he's done with man of steel i like the, of course you know justice league the snyder cut and of course batman vs superman dawn of justice the ultimate edition uh however i can understand why dc and warner brothers have decided to move on if it's for purely story reasons now i don't know Seems like Zack Snyder is a very down to earth, you know, genuine guy. So I don't know if there's necessarily a reason there why the studio don't want to work for him. Uh, but for whatever reason, they've decided to go different ways. Um, but when it comes to the story that he was going to tell with Justice League two and three, after knowing a bit about the storyboards that he had done for those films, I understand why maybe Warner and DC wanted to maybe go a different path. Uh, that may be the only reason I don't know, but I'm excited for what DC has in store and everything that Warner Brothers is developing over there. I think we just need to be patient and give them time when it comes to that universe. But when it comes to Snyder, obviously, since the things with Warner Brothers didn't go so well, it seems like he's kind of been, you know, chumming up to Netflix a little bit here and it's paying off for him. Uh, obviously, Army of the Dead. I actually like that film. It was a lot of fun. A little long for my taste, which a lot of Zack Snyder films tend to be. The Snyder Cut included at four hours four hours but uh so i mean i'm sure rebel moon could have that same sort of deal where it could be two and a half three hours long uh but if he's going to build out a franchise here when it comes to you know expanding it and making it another you know big deal out of it especially if it's kind of based on an old idea he had for star wars at the time uh rebel moon obviously being kind of you know, a play on the Star Wars motif, uh, you know, rebel bases and things like that, you know, galactic empires. I don't know what all it's going to entail. Uh, but anytime you say sci-fi, I'm in. <laughs> so I'm going to watch it regardless. And of course, like I said, with Army of the Dead being a success, I'm willing to give Zack Snyder a chance here on Netflix. And it's one of those deals too, where as a viewer, I don't have to invest a whole lot in it. You know, I don't have to necessarily go to theaters to watch it. So I can stay home and just watch it on my Netflix account. So that's always good too. So we'll see how this goes. Um, Zack Snyder is definitely keeping his name out there. Uh, it seems like 
for whatever reason, he's not getting a whole lot of work when it comes to theatrically released things right now. I don't know if that's just kind of stems from the relationship he had with Warner Brothers or what might have happened over there. Uh, but a lot of people who've worked with him seem to love the guy, and I'm sure that he's a great guy in real life. So hopefully, I wish nothing but success for him, and hopefully he'll have all that coming his way as well, especially everything that happened with his daughter. I hope that he has nothing but success moving forward. And, of course, you know, I love how he added at the end of the Justice League Snyder Cut that it was, you know, for Autumn, which it was his daughter's name. So I thought that was really cool that he paid homage to her with that so but the real question here is guys what do you guys think about the fact that netflix has hired Zack snyder to continue working with them and direct his sci-fi epic rebel moon comment down below let me know what you guys think about this and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you get all the notifications about when i put up new content right here on this channel and until my next video guys take care Turn it off.